Hey guys, Script Trooper here with another video. And today we're talking about yet another supposed Star Wars product, Star Wars project. And I, again, at this point I don't even expect any of this stuff to ever get made. <laughs> but assuming it does, I guess the the Deadpool and Wolverine director gives an exciting hint about his upcoming Star Wars movie. Now, you guys can decide for yourself how exciting it is. Uh, Sean Levy, who recently directed Deadpool and Wolverine, shares an exciting tease about his upcoming Star Wars film. After the conclusion of the sequel trilogy in 2019, several new Star Wars movies have been put into development with various filmmakers attached. Levy's was announced in 2022. And the most tangible update about the project arrived earlier this year when it was announced the, the, that frequent collaborator, Jonathan Tropper, would pen the script. I don't get this. <laughs> so it was announced in 2022, and earlier in 2024, we finally find out who's going to write it. Why... Why aren't scripts being written? Like, why aren't... Why is why is it taking so long to do anything? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get why an acolyte piece of crap show took four years. I don't get it. Like, what are they doing all day? <laughs> what are you doing all day? You should be able to hammer out a, a pretty reasonable script in, a, you know, two, three months if you have an idea. If you don't have an idea, then why is Kathy giving people films without knowing if they have an idea or not? She, they must have an idea, right? Or is she just being like, no, my friend wants to make a movie, meh, whenever he gets it done. Uh, anyway, it's just, it's just dumb. So during a recent interview with Josh Horowitz on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, Levy is asked about the status of his Star Wars movie and the filmmaker offers up an intriguing hint. While Levy doesn't reveal anything concrete about the movie setting or story, he does tease that the script is being written with specific actors in mind. John Boyega and Daisy Ridley. There you go. Which could also mean it's being written with specific f familiar characters in mind. Check out Levy's comment below. When asked about actors being eyed during the writing process while you're asking the right questions, sort of, yes, please don't ask a follow-up. There's been rumors that Daisy Ridley's Ray will return in Levy. That's going to be Finn and Ray. whoop beats beats do. And, and you, that's why I don't think this movie's ever getting made. Because <laughs> good luck. Good luck trying to fix those characters, right? They had a huge opportunity with Finn. They had a great idea, former Stormtrooper, blah, 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 blah. They wrote him poorly. He all of a sudden, out of nowhere, was like, yeah, I'm on the good guys and I'm going to shoot my fellow Stormtroopers. They, they just didn't do a very good job of it at all. But the idea was there. And with Ray, you know, just way too easy. Everything was too easy. There was no struggle. Um, there was emotional, I guess, baggage and struggle but there was no real tangible story with her it was just like oh move on to the next level it was like a video game right just move on to the next level move on to the next level never have any issues so i i think that ship has sailed and i don't know why levy or anybody else would be like yeah let's make a movie about ray and finn it's too late guys you're not gonna fix these characters we have way too much about them. We know too much about them for you to come back now and have Rey not as powerful and actually go through something. It's too late. She she just defeats everybody easily and does everything without even knowing what it is. She has a mind trick literally the day she found out the Jedi actually exist. No one told her about how to do a mind trick. Obi-Wan said that it was you have to be a very advanced Jedi to be able to know how to do that. So I... I don't know why anyone would be doing this. It's the dumbest thing ever. And I don't know why KK is even doing this. Like, she's pushing the the Ray movie with, you know, Obeyed Shinoi and stuff. Why does anyone want to do that? Why? I, I don't get it. Let's take this character that nobody likes. Um, I shouldn't say nobody. There's a few people that like her. But that most people don't like. We didn't even do a toy line. For The Rise of Skywalker, first Star Wars movie ever to not do a toy line. You know, no one, clearly no one's that interested in Rey. Why are you doing this? We would have been interested in Finn, but you, again, that ship sailed. You you wrecked him. You had three movies to write something cool with him and you didn't. It's, it's over. There's nowhere to go. And I've said this before. What villain is she going to fight that's going to make things interesting? Because she's just, can defeat anybody. 
So who's the villain going to be that's actually going to cause tension in the story? I don't. I can't think of anything you could possibly do. So it's a it's it's just a fruitless endeavor that they're talking about here, and, and I don't know why Levy would even want to do that. But I think that that this is correct. I think when he says we have specific actors, he's not talking about OG. Most of them have passed away. All that's left is Hamill, and his character's dead. So I don't know how that would even work. So you know you've got you've got Harrison Ford, but he's also his character's dead. So. I think this is the only answer, unless he's doing a movie about just just Poe or something. But if he is doing a movie about these characters, the actors would need to be notified and need to know, right? But but or is this another Disney Lucas from Hill? Write, write, write the script, then we'll ask. <laughs> Although Shinoi, they did they did announce Ray, they did announce Daisy Ridley for her movie prior to a script being written. What's going on with that? Is is, is that still going or what? No one no one does any work at Lucasfilm. I don't get it. They have all this money, but nobody does any work, and they take years and years and years to do one eight-episode show. Like, what are you doing at Lucasfilm with your time? Officially, very little has been uh, revealed about Levy's entry to the franchise, and it's not clear yet when the film will be set in the larger Star Wars timeline and what characters it will follow. Of course, because no one knows anything there. Unofficially, however, rumors have suggested that audiences could be seeing the return of Daisy Ridley as Rey. In January of this year, Hollywood insider Jeff Schneider hinted in his newsletter, The Insnider, isn't that so cute, that Ray just isn't, Ray isn't just being eyed to return in her own, in her own solo movie, but she could also appear in some capacity in Levy's film. While Schneider's report should be taken with a grain of salt, Ray's return would obviously provide a major hint regarding the timeline of Levy's Star Wars film. Unless the character is drastically aged up or she appears as a force ghost, the film would seemingly take place not too long after this, the Rise of Skywalker's ending. Though Ridley's return in Levy's film remains a question mark, Rey will appear in Star Wars New Jedi Order. What a lame title. From director Charmaine Abichinoy, with that film following Rey's character, she attempts to build a New Jedi Order, but she's so bloody powerful, what difference does it make? She doesn't need an order, just have her... Just have her touch people and turn them from the dark side. And if you don't believe me, that's canon. That's what she did. She cleared Ben's mind when she healed him. That's literally what it says in the book. She can turn people from the dark side by touching them. That's why I said, what are you going to call it? The chase? It's just going to be her chasing some bad guy around and trying to touch him? <laughs> like that's, This is why you don't make somebody that OP because it wrecks everything you can possibly do with them. There's nothing interesting that you can do with her. Nothing. It's impossible. And again, why do you need to build a Jedi Order when you're that powerful? For what purpose? No one's going to mess with you. Anyway, it's just dumb. And this movie's never getting made. I don't even know that Shinois is ever going to get made, although Kathy really wants to do it because Shinois is female and a minority. And that seems to just be everything that matters to these people right now for some reason. Ridley has hinted that filming on Star Wars New Jedi Order could begin... It could it could begin when monkeys fly out of my butt. Like, it could begin anytime. Who can't... You could say anything. Oh, she's hinting that it could begin. Like, it could... It could or couldn't anything. Like, <laughs> that's not... A, that's not... That means nothing. It's pathetic. They don't know what they're doing. Le Levy's other comments during his appearance... Could be seen to debunk Ray's potential return, however, as the filmmaker hinted that his movie will be a standalone and not set during a familiar section of the timeline. Okay, well, so then what? So then he's just, like, has an actor, he wants Keanu Reeves to be in it or something? While the era immediately after The Rise of Skywalker remains relatively unexplored on film, such a setting... What do you mean, relatively? It's not even remotely explored. It's not relatively unexplored. It's not explored at all. Such a setting would still bring it, bring with it, excuse me, some creative restraints and would likely necessitate a level of collaboration with Shinoi. For now, it seems that Levy wants to keep details. He doesn't, it's not even written. He doesn't know any details. This is a nothing article. So essentially, sorry for wasting your guys' time, honestly. Like, he literally just said, I have an, I, I thought about actors that can play roles in my movie. He hasn't even started it. And I, I, I gotta say, I'm getting a little irritated with the amount of projects that this company 
says they're going to do and how Kathleen Kennedy is throwing, you know, possible TV shows and movies out like chicken feed to every one of her friends. Like, get organized. They're so disorganized. It's horrible. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I don't think this ever even gets made. I just think it's all nonsense. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you want more Ray? Is that is that something you're interested in? If you like this content, please like, subscribe, always helps the channel. Feel free to check out anything else on my channel. Have yourselves a really good day.